Welcome to Friday Night's video in our Master Series. Tonight we are going to be dealing with transients. So when we're dealing talking about transients, basically we're not talking about transient work when we do first stage processing in the next phase. We're just looking for problem transients. Pro transients that are a problem. So let's, the best way that I deal with transients is that basically I will cut and reduce the transient itself. I will put a fade in on it or I use an ADSR tool. And sometimes ADSR tools can be great if you've got a whole lot of transient problems across the track. But transients are very simple to deal with and a very simple concept. The first thing is whenever you're dealing with transients is that normally in your DAW you should have some kind of tool to be looking at you know transients and and things like that to analyze where they're at with your quantization algorithms and basically putting those on there and then most of the time the DAW will have a shortcut to where you can actually just cut at all those markers then you can go through and address any transients that you're having because you might be able to highlight two or three of them and then adjust the fade in on each one of them together rather than have to do them separately you know it's a great thing to experiment with but basically when we're dealing with transients that you know we've got a couple of different things first of all this isn't really a transient this base hit is louder than base hit you can look at this one and see the difference between this one's got a serious transient where the tail is pretty close to this one but the hit is way louder whereas this one the whole thing is louder might be an accent or something sometimes you might want to reduce that but you probably be dealing with that in flow editing right now we're just dealing with transients and you got the same thing might be happening in vocals where something over here might be louder but it's not an actual transient where this is a transient you can see that's a transient you need to deal with so basically whenever i'm dealing with transients they're a very simple process and keep it as simple as possible as most other things the first thing that i normally do with transients is that is there any way to just highlight the thing bring a fade in on it watch where it's adjusting it oh it's starting to affect this one here do not want to affect that too much so about there starting to affect it back off just a little bit and then start bringing this in you know start bringing this in a little bit how much you can address it and about there looks pretty good command bounce the thing you know and it should look just about the way it is right now so that's the first way to really deal with them and sometimes transients are tedious you know if you've got a couple that you're trying to deal with they can be a pain in the butt and you just got to go through them one at a time and deal with them sometimes if you've got a bunch of them that you can you know analyze like i showed you cut at all those markers and then go through there and do this kind of thing where i'm going to fuss with that one and i'm going to fuss you know command or, or shift and you know highlight those two but not this one and then you know edit them together like that that's normally an option so those are some options of dealing with them you know in some real simple ways the next way that's a very simple way is just cutting it so if you're just going to cut it you know besides doing that is that you know if you've got this is one i already did that looked like this and basically the only thing i did with it is i went in there found zero crossing i cut on either side of it i brought it down and then i command then i selected all those areas and those events that were connected and command bounced it until it was done and then basically that it should look pretty similar to these ones here you know you adjust the volume of it a little bit till it's about the same and it should look pretty similar and no it's not that part of an issue you didn't mess with any of the tail or any of that other stuff going on from this point here down just that actual transient itself you know and it's pretty simple you know or combining the workflows that i'm talking about or you can use an adsr tool i love adsr tools for the simple reason is because adsr tools are cool and on top of it is that you know you can go ahead and address whole tracks if you've got a bunch of tracks with that same problem happening that you can set up for this to happen every so many beats or every so many moments in time and that it'll affect all of them bam 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 and they'll all get worked on at the same time so all your transients are issued or dealt with there's other you know transient tools transient shapers and things like that but i like an actual adsr tool like this that actually deals with the adsr now normally what i do is i've got an algorithm and i start out with that looks just like this right here 
and it's basically set up to where it's just like a drum hit. Basic fucking up, let it sustain so long, and then down, you know, a release. And then I start fussing with it from there, because obviously on this drum hit, that there's not a whole lot of ADSR going. There's an attack, and then it drops off really fast, uh, you know, it decays really fast, attack, decay really fast, no real sustain, and it just releases down. Does that make sense? So you have to deal with different ones differently. So anyway, that this ADSR tool works great because basically you got this set up. You don't want to really mess with any of this up here. That's the release. So you don't really want to fuss with it too much. You want to leave it basically alone. Let it release way out like the other ones. And you just want to bring that. This attack would normally be up here like the one I just showed you in the on the other event and I dropped it down and then brought it in almost like bringing a fade in now that right there if I got that on there and I just render that on there that it's basically done that one should look very similar to these ones here almost exactly with no fuss mussing around about it at all and the cool thing about it is you can do that on one you can set up some presets to where you have it set up and you've experimented with it on bass drums or snare drums or guitar hits or bass hits or whatever. And they'll be pretty close set up to what you want, to what you need for whatever you're trying to do. And it will go, not only can you just do one event, on this, on my dog you can do event effects to where I can just do this event or this event or this event or whatever. But you might have to drag it off to a different track like here and then do that with it and then drag it back up into time where it's supposed to be. But it can also go across the whole track. So that normally deals with your transient problem in the simplest ways to deal with it. Sometimes transients are tedious. you got to fuss with them and go find them and things like that. But if you follow the steps I'm talking about, it's just a matter of spending the time to deal with them so that later on in your other editing processes and in your first phase processing that you've got some really good stuff to work with and your transients are dealt with. So, peace, help, love. I hope you enjoyed this video on dealing with your transients, and I'll see you in the next video when we take a look at ADSRs.